Hi again, everybody. The game has been over for more than 48 hours, but fans are still talking about Saturday's Power Bowl finish. The Dragons lead by five with less than two minutes to play. Concordia out of timeouts, but Dragon coaches called pass plays that failed on second, third, and this one on fourth down, stopping the clock. Cowboys take over near midfield and score a game-winning TD with three seconds to play. Afterwards, head coach Damon Tomeo would not answer questions about the finish, nor allow his players to. Tonight, Tomeo told me he's not second-guessing the play calls just his post game poise we knew we needed to get a first down to win the game and our running game up to that point had been kind of mostly ineffective and we felt there'd be a struggle there also up to that point with our punt team uh, we were some struggles with our long snapping and just uh, we were worried about them getting a rush on and possibly blocking it at midfield and setting up some pretty good field positions so in an instant we decided that we would uh, put the ball in the hands of our playmakers of our best kids which are our wide outs and our quarterback and let them throw the ball one time that they've done thousands of times and get a first down so if it happens that way, say this weekend again, would you still stand by that strategy? Well, it's no different than Mary last year. We went for two southwest. We took a safety. Uh, last Sunday we said, you know what, or Saturday we said we're going to put uh, the ball in the hands of Dustin Long and see if he can find a receiver open. And, and we're always going to find a way to win a football game. That's always our goal. The fourth down play, why not punt the ball away there instead for going? And that, to me, seemed like maybe the riskiest of those play calls at that point. Yeah, it definitely was something we considered. We struggled with our punt team at that point. A few times during the day, we were afraid they would rush us, and our snaps up to that point had been a little shaky, and we were concerned. And we felt that our defense could hold strong for the last minute and a half. The statement came out today basically saying some things should have been handled differently after the game. What would you like to say to the community, the fans, whatever, in light of how things happened and your reluctance to speak about it after the game? Well, I care most about this university and obviously the most about our football players. They're a special bunch of kids, and, uh, you know, we did not prepare for the aftermath of that game and some of the emotions that come forth in those things. And maybe it has to do with us being a little young as a staff and being a little inexperienced working together. But we got some super kids, and uh, they understand what's going on, and they understand that uh, we play to win every game and that we're going to fight through it. And at the same sense, people make mistakes. Talk to them about accountability all the time. And at the same sense, uh, the head coach is going to make mistakes too. And we just learn, we apologize, and we move forward and learn from it. Tonight, the school issued a press release in which Tomeo apologized for losing his composure after the game. Athletic Director Doug Peters said mistakes were made. We take responsibility for them and we'll grow from the experience.